subscribe this channel for educational videos and also don't forget to press the bell icon in order to get the instant notifications of our latest stuff hello and uh, welcome to this online course on uh, wireless communication uh, our today's topic is non prioritized and prioritized handoff in the previous lecture we have already uh, studied about mobility management and in mobility management we studied about handoff mechanism handoff mechanism is used to handle the mobility of a mobile user in cellular system and uh, depending on the different situations this handoff can be categorized as uh, proper handoff and improper handoff and then we studied about uh, different types of handoffs and uh, in different types of handoff we have uh, uh, horizontal handoff we have vertical handoff then we have uh, hard handoff and soft handoff these are the different types of uh, handoff and uh, this all we have uh, studied in the uh, previous lecture and now in today's lecture we will study about non prioritized and prioritized handoff first we will start with non prioritized handoff in non prioritized handoff as the name suggests that there is no priority given to the handoff process and this non prioritized handoff it cannot differentiate between handoff uh, calls and new call request so it does not differentiate between new calls and handoff calls that's why this mechanism or this non prioritized handoff it treats these uh, two things in a similar fashion so it treats handoff calls and new calls in a similar fashion okay so here no priority is given to the handoff calls and both handoff calls and new call requests they are treated in a similar fashion further if there is no channel available in the cell in that case uh, the new call request or the handoff request they will be blocked fine if there are no pre channels in a cell then new calls or handoff calls will be blocked that means uh, as long as there is a channel is available in the cell only then new calls or the uh, handoff calls will be uh, taken into consideration fine and here no priority is given to the uh, handoff calls uh, i will uh, draw a flow chart uh, to explain this uh, let me draw it first okay uh, as we uh, see that uh, this non prioritized handoff uh, treats new calls and uh, head off calls uh, in a similar fashion so when this uh, these requests uh, they come to our cellular system then uh, the base station checks is any channel is available and uh, if there is a channel available then that channel is assigned to that particular call request uh, whether it is a handoff call or a new call request and then your call is uh, proceeded and uh, after the completion of the call that particular channel is freed okay and uh, on the other side if there is no available channel in that case the new request uh, of the call is uh, blocked so uh, this is how the uh, your new uh, non prioritized handoff strategy works okay and now we will see the prioritized handoff prioritized handoff as the name suggests that here we have to prioritize the handoff mechanism and uh, for that matter we have different schemes and the number one scheme is call admission control scheme then we have guard channel scheme then the third scheme is queuing scheme and after that fourth one is channel reservation scheme okay and let's examine these schemes uh, one by one so first we will take call admission control scheme that is c a c so call admission control scheme uh, basically it is a uh, task of deciding uh, uh, whether to take uh, a new call request or not so the call admission control refers to the task of deciding whether or not a certain connection request will be admitted into uh, and supported by the uh, network 
okay and these schemes restrict the number of new calls accepted to decrease the probability of head of call failure okay so it is a uh, basically task of deciding whether or not to accept new connection request and which is supported by the network and when i talk about the new connection request i mean to say that uh, the new call request okay and uh, these uh, call admission control schemes uh, these schemes they restrict they restrict the uh, number of new calls accepted they restrict the number of new calls accepted and decreases the uh, call failure uh, in case of hand off calls okay so this decreases the probability of hand off call failure why because it restricts the number of new calls and because of that more channels remain free in a particular cell so because of that the probability of hand call failure is uh, decreased okay and to accept or to reject that means to take the decision of accepting or rejecting a particular call request uh, we have to consider uh, following things are considered first we have to consider local information then we need to consider remote information and third one we have to consider is local plus remote information that is both local and remote information fine and when i talk about uh, local information uh, which means that amount of unused bandwidth in the current cell unused bandwidth in the current cell okay and when i talk about remote information which means that unused bandwidth in the neighboring cell okay so when we decide whether to take a particular call or not uh, we have to take into consideration uh, following things that is local information remote information and local plus remote information since the mobile user is free to move anywhere and uh, in admission control scheme that relies on local information only cannot guarantee the quality of uh, quality of service requirements uh, of a connection throughput in its lifetime so that's why we have to consider both local information as well as the remote information fine so this is about the call admission control scheme and uh, how it uh, works in order to prioritize the handoff now the other scheme is uh, guard channel scheme okay Uh, in this scheme uh, your uh, total channels they are divided into two groups so uh, channels are divided into two groups one group is uh, of uh, normal channels one group can contains uh, normal channel uh, whereas uh, the other group contains uh, some reserved channels and these reserved channels they are reserved for uh, hand off calls only whereas these uh, normal channels they are uh, they are used by both uh, hand off as well as uh, hand off and new call request okay so uh, here in this scheme uh, some channels are uh, reserved some channels are reserved and these are uh, reserved for uh, hand off calls only and uh, rest of channels are used by both uh, hand off calls as well as new call request okay and uh, this channel reservation for hand off calls uh, this uh, can be uh, fixed and it can be uh, dynamic so uh, channel reservation channel reservation uh, it can be fixed or uh, it can be uh, adaptive uh, we have uh, some channels which are uh, reserved for uh, uh, hand off calls and because of uh, these uh, reserved channels uh, the uh, calls uh, the hand off calls are Uh, served in a uh, very better uh, way and uh, although we have uh, some advantages of uh, this technique that uh, hand off calls are served in a better way but uh, it uh, occurs at the cost of uh, certain disadvantages okay uh, there is uh, an increase in the call blocking uh, probability because of uh, this technique there is an increase in call blocking probability because uh, there are uh, uh, very less channels available uh, for the new call request um, because uh, we have already uh, reserved half of the channels uh, for the hand off call uh, and that's why uh, call blocking probability uh, increases in this uh, technique and uh, other uh, problem in of this technique is 
there is reduction in total carrier traffic due to the fact that fewer channels are uh, granted to the new cell so uh, there is reduction in total traffic, traffic carried out and uh, then we have uh, other uh, disadvantage of using this technique uh, in order to prioritize the handoff is insufficient spectrum utilization this insufficient spectrum utilization is because uh, we reserve some uh, half of the channels uh, for handoff calls and uh, for example if in a particular cell there is no requirement of handoff calls uh, in that case those reserved channels they uh, remain unused and uh, which uh, creates or uh, which provide insufficient spectrum utilization in such technique okay and in this uh, uh, technique these two first two limitations uh, they can be uh, overcome or these they can be bypassed by allowing uh, a queuing uh, scheme or a queuing of uh, new calls and uh, this seems feasible uh, as new calls are less sensitive to delay than hand of calls so we can uh, create a queue of the new calls because they are less sensitive to the delay than the hand of call because we cannot uh, put delay on the ongoing calls or the hand of calls okay uh, in this uh, uh, god channel uh, scheme there is a, a zone which is called as the uh, pre hand of zone and this pre hand of zone is uh, in the closer vicinity of the of the hand of zone and when the base station finds that there are sufficient users in the pre hand of zone then uh, the base station reserves some channels uh, for the uh, hand of calls okay uh, when base station finds sufficient users in the pre hand of zone then it reserves some channels for hand of and this is done as uh, in a adaptive manner okay dynamically or adaptively fine so uh, this is all about uh, this uh, channel reservation scheme and uh, uh, let me draw a, a flow chart of uh, this scheme how it works okay uh, this uh, this uh, god channel scheme can be illustrated by these uh, uh, diagrams uh, for example if you have a, a new call request you can go in this way uh, you you will first check is the channel uh, free or is any channel is available if the channel is available uh, then uh, the channel is assigned and you proceed to the call and uh, then after the completion of the call you free the channel okay and if in case uh, if the channel is not free then in that case your call is blocked that means your call request is blocked but on the other side for a hand off call request uh, here uh, first the channel is checked whether it is free or it is available and uh, if it is available then the same procedure uh, procedure is followed uh, as in the previous case you assign the channel for a, for that particular hand off request then your uh, uh, ongoing call is uh, proceeded and uh, after the completion of the call you free the channel but on the other side if you don't have a free channel here it asks for a uh, normal free channel this is a uh, condition for a normal free channel but uh, if it is not available then it searches uh, the channel in the reserved channels here okay and uh, then if the channel is available then uh, it assigns the channel uh, in this way and the same procedure is followed if that reserved channel is uh, not uh, there it is not free or it is not available in that case uh, the hand of call request is blocked that means then the hand off uh, is not performed fine so uh, this is how this uh, uh, god channel scheme works now the next scheme is uh, queuing scheme uh, in this uh, queuing scheme a hand off queue is maintained for the calls that need hand off so here uh, a hand off queue is maintained and uh, in this case no new call is granted a new channel before the hand off request in the queue are served and no new call is granted a channel before the hand off request in the queue are served okay 
and uh, in this technique uh, first you maintain a queue uh, of the calls that need uh, handoff and then no channel is granted to the uh, a, to a new call request until all the uh, handoff requests in the queue are served and when the power level uh, received by the base station in the current cell reaches handoff threshold the call is queued for the service from neighboring cell okay when the uh, power level power level when it goes down and it uh, reaches to a, a threshold level okay it becomes equal to threshold level and uh, uh, in uh, then the uh, call is queued for the service and then then call is queued for service from neighboring cell okay and uh, the call remains queued for the service until either an available channel in the new call is found or the power by the base station in the current cell drops below the minimum acceptable level okay and when the uh, power in the current serving uh, base station uh, goes down the acceptable level then the uh, call will be uh, terminated and if the mobile node is not able to perform the handoff uh, before the power level uh, in the uh, current base station or in the current cell goes down uh, below the minimum acceptable level uh, in that case uh, the the call is terminated and handoff cannot be performed okay and in this scheme due to the uh, limited size of uh, handoff queue handoff calls uh, could be denied uh, queuing in case of high demand of for uh, handoffs okay uh, due to limited size of handoff queue handoff calls could be denied queuing in case of high demand for handoffs when we have a uh, high demand of uh, handoffs then uh, some of the handoff calls may be denied in the uh, queuing process because of the limited size of the queue okay there are various schemes uh, which have been uh, proposed in setting up priorities uh, with a queue and these include first in first out scheme that is fifo then other is most critical scheme first most critical first scheme okay that is the call that will be cut off first has the highest priority and this is based on the radio measurement and uh, hence uh, has no additional complexity okay and uh, and then based on received signal strength based on received signal strength and delta r ss okay that is the threshold uh, received signal strength fine and uh, then we have number 4 is based on rss that is received signal strength then delta rss uh, which is the difference between maximum and minimum uh, values of rss and traffic type okay and now let's see the uh, flow chart diagram of this scheme and uh, uh, this is the normal case uh, when we do not uh, prioritize the handoff a new handoff uh, call request is received and then uh, if the channel is available then that particular uh, channel is assigned and uh, if the channel is not available uh, in that case uh, call will be blocked okay and if the channel is assigned then you proceed with the uh, handoff uh, call and uh, that is the ongoing call and then after completion of the call you release the channel and after this releasing this channel you see if there is any uh, queue available either the queue is empty or if the queue is empty in that case uh, this channel remains idle okay but if the hand of queue is not empty uh, in this case if it is not empty and uh, in that case it will go and uh, assign a uh, channel this idle channel to the hand of request uh, on the other side when the handoff call request is received is the channel free then the channel is assigned if it is not free then you create a waiting queue 
and after that sometime you see if any channel is free then uh, if it is free then you assign channel if it is uh, not free uh, in that case uh, uh, your call is blocked because the, now there is no probability of having any channel and in that case your call will be blocked okay and uh, this is how uh, this scheme works and now uh, we have the last scheme uh, which is uh, called as uh, a channel reservation scheme uh, in this uh, channel reservation scheme uh, the scheme reserves channels in the uh, cells wh where the user are expected to visit in the near future okay so the scheme reserves the channels in the cells where the users are expected to visit in the near future okay and this reservation can be made in following ways that is neighboring cell because it is uh, it is expected that uh, uh, the mobile user will uh, visit the uh, visit its uh, immediate neighboring cell and uh, number 2 is only cell or you can say only one cell uh, in uh, this means that uh, uh, the mobile user will move only in the one cell here uh, real time position measurements are used to predict the future path of a mobile station and determine the cell where reservation has to be performed uh, like you can use a gps in order to uh, predict the uh, position measurements uh, of a uh, mobile station fine and uh, then the other uh, way is the is in the shadowing clusters in shadowing clusters now what are these uh, shadowing clusters uh, these are the cells that in that are influenced by uh, an active mobile station and uh, these are set to perform a shadow cluster and this region of influence uh, follows movements of an active mobile station like a shadow okay the shape of shadowing cluster can change over the time uh, for example where the mobile station already uh, had moved uh, in, a, in a particular cell it creates the shadow of that particular cell and all the the collection of all those cells form a shadowing cluster okay these are the three ways uh, in which the reservation uh, can be made in the neighboring cell or in one cell or in the shadowing cluster as i said neighboring cell is the immediate cell where the mobile user or the mobile station is expected to move in only one cell means uh, you just predict the uh, or you note down the uh, positions or actual positions of a mobile station by using some gps module or other technology and then you see where it is going to move and you can reserve channel in only one particular cell where it is expected to move uh, on the basis of the position coordinates of a mobile user and the third one is in shadowing cluster which means if mobile user has uh, already visited some cells then it creates a shadow of those cells and the collection of all those cells create a cluster which is called as shadowing cluster and it is more uh, most likely that this mobile station will uh, again move to those cell okay so these are some uh, uh, these uh, handoff prioritizing schemes which we use to prioritize the handoff this is all for this lecture thank you for watching